Alright, what's going on? So, my buddy Vincent here, he is the man behind uh, Blood on the Leaves, the producer, director, screenwriter. Finally went to see a movie together, and uh, it was Detroit. And the director, Vincent, help me out here. Is uh, Catherine Bigelow. She made Hurt Locker, and Zero Dark Thirty, a bunch. Um, she's been in the game for a long time, but those two, I mean, her style definitely carried through to this one. You think so? See, yeah. I didn't see either one of those. I'll have to go back and watch. Yeah, them, I mean, but... like the war, the war movie, like she kind of the modern war movie with Hurt Locker and Zero Dark Thirty. She really like kind of mastered with that shakiness that really gets you inside the action and that carried over perfectly to Detroit which is basically a war movie set that's what I took from it it's in a war movie Michigan yeah it, I mean it was a historical war zone essentially yes. well I know her I had told you I had watched um, the other day on the Today Show they had the two actors the two lead actors uh, and they had uh, they were talking about Lee Daniels Lee Daniels is best friends with um, Catherine is her mm -hmm. name and Lee Daniels is one of my guys because he's behind Empire and Star. And he has made such a success. He is also the screenwriter of The Butler, I believe it's called The Butler. And director. Director. Precious. Yes. Precious. And precious. So that was mainly why I went to see this. I believe that for him as well. And also I wanted to see the story be told of what I've heard bits and pieces, you know, through high school, through family members of how brutal it was back in that time. Uh, for uh, African Americans mainly and that's mainly why I and I have to honestly say I was blown away I teared up at times not only was it powerful but it was so surreal that you literally felt like you were back in that time the props were real the clothing the hairstyles I mean they in my eyes I you could agree they nailed it on those oh everything attributes. everything about that really allowed them to shoot it almost like a documentary you know that's her style it's like they make that world and then tear it down because that's part of the movie is that literally all these riots are happening and it's just destruction but they make this world and then the camera places you in it i mean you can really see in the eyes of most of these care all of these characters good and bad the internal struggle that's going on in their mind when this crazy situation is happening i mean for someone that I can't relate to this setting, I can't relate to, you know, I've never had a gun pointed at me. I don't know about you. No. But I, I can't. That's I What would you do? I can't relate to it, but like the that. way they shot it, though, makes you feel like the gun's aiming at you. It makes you feel, obviously it's not. Like, these characters, these this really happened. And I'm ashamed that I did not know a lot about it. So am I. But that's the whole thing. It's now, you know, it opens your eyes. It's like, you know, there's a million stories like this of wrongful um you know lawlessness within you know communities like this uh, again we can't relate i don't know a ton about it but this movie opened my eyes and it put me in this in this world at least for two and a half hours you know it was or two it was hours. a lar movie but it was a good lar movie like it, it really didn't feel have it. any it didn't have any slow parts it punches it. you in the face man. it does it does over and over it which does. is good because that's what you need we need we need to get punched in the face we need to understand what really happened the the uh the what these people went through you know and i like how at the end in some of the documentary films they'll do they will show you know the actor who played that character in that role but then they'll show the the person it, it, itself oh yeah i love that this isn't going to be the last thing i learn about this uh, no this i would have researched more it, exactly and that's the best part of the movie i mean it's it's a thriller it's it's non-stop uh blood drama blood. just yeah but it it's a it starts conversations i mean i that's definitely what this movie has done and the dialogue f-bomb every what every 10 minutes sure just, but I, I made a movie where it's probably worse than right that. but what like they <laughs> yeah. made it so it's not it's real man it's it, like it's a not sugarcoating that's that's what this you can't dance around no these you events. can't and i just i can't even imagine it was a great movie it was it, it was, was a great was freaking a phenomenal movie. movie for a female director she um, she man phenomenal and even even you know the the police like the um William Poulter, I believe, is one of the uh, main leads. He's the young guy. How to, how to fit in a role like this and to act this out and know this happened and you are like the antagonist in this film 
Mm -hmm. But then throughout the film, we're not going to give spoilers. You have to go see it. Throughout the film, you see it's there's brutality on all ends. You know, yeah. they're getting it from up. But you know that saying that water yeah. runs downhill, top down. Yeah. To to be to have an actor read a role like that and be able to sink his teeth into that the way he did. I mean, and, and act like such a savage to these people that a you know a bastard. And he he's got this power and he's using it and it's just vicious and he dove into it and there was no other way to do it and he did it flawlessly and so many actors the uh um one of the main um people in it who you know he i, I need to learn his this actor's name because i feel like we need to see the this guy, guy star more. wars um well him but then the guy that played the singer um in the film, he was the one I watched be interviewed on the Today Show. Yeah, of course, man, I that, forget his name. You know, I, I know those are our minds. We, we literally forget. just got done watching the yeah. movie, and normally I would be like, "Oh man, what's that guy's name? I want to see him more. I want to see him more." But that guy was amazing. Like his performance was incredible, and he he was singing too. I mean, like anytime you you see that multifaceted artist thing within a performance, you know, singing, crying, laughing, you know, all those things in one. It's it's blows your mind something that, that caught my eye was after all the brutality and just the chaos and the anarchy you know and the rioting in this horrific hellacious you see that one character just keep living the dream that they set out to live and that's what really with with the band yep and you yeah. know through all this through the rioting through through the incident that happened at the hotel and then into the court hearing, which I was ready to throw something at the TV at that point, I was so mad. Uh, you, you see that he still lives out his dream. And I think something that I take from this movie is they had religion towards the end, is that out of all bad, you can still find good, you can still find positive, you can still find rational, and you can still live on. And instead of spreading hate, spread love. That was a great ending, yeah. That's... It really was. It was, it was, that was the best so, ending. I think that was the best ending they, they could have done. Because definitely. It's almost like I might survive this situation, but at what cost? And does that really mean I survived if I'm changed this much? And again, I can't relate to any of this, you know. Like I, I'm, I'm very lucky life, you know. So to watch a movie like this and to feel the way that I did, I, I mean, I, I feel the pain for these. The things. execution of the film itself, like you can't get any better. No. And I, I think it was a great movie. And it was phenomenal. A lot of people need. It's one of those movies people need. That's to exactly see. what we they said. They need going to out. see it. They need to see it. People that have the tunnel vision, they need to see this because it happened, and it's good that it's being told, and I give credit to everyone involved, cast, crew, everybody. Uh, definitely go see this film, watch the review video after you see it, but go see it. And also look up what happened, because that's what I'm going to yeah, do. I'm, I'm going to dive into thorough it. thorough you know? research, because they definitely did the research. That's the beauty of it, man. This really happened, and, and a movie is just a movie. I mean, when you really dive into... It's just a gateway to dive into more and then get to the real meat of because these are real people, you know. Yep. Um, so real watch things. the movie, research it. I recommend all of that. Like the video, share the video, spread the news about this film, subscribe to the channel for more. I'm going to have him back on to uh, feature and recommend for some more films. Uh, we're working on some stuff of our own. Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. It's all for you guys. Thanks for the love and the support. And, uh, yeah, you will be blown away, literally, by this film. Let Detroit. us know what you think, too. Yep. Absolutely. Thanks. All and my next review video will be coming up soon, uh, The Dark Tower. So stay tuned for that tonight. And I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.